This is about King Yoshiahu or Josiah, King Josiah. Uh, this study was not done, has not been done since 2013 or 14. I'm not sure, somewhere in that area. Uh, we wanted to do it, wanted to do it, and just never got to it. And uh, we discovered why this week, as Charlene told you earlier, there's a great revealing of truth that just come out of this. We come into a, I guess it could be a stumbling block, a, a something that we did not understand how it could be. And uh, I sent the problem over to Charlene and her light came on and she sent it back and says, look, and it made perfect sense. So this study is very, very exciting. It is going to go great lengths to explain Ben Ha Arbiyam. And we are going to be bringing this up on Covenant Calendar very soon. Josiah, or Yoshiahu, please note that Yahu at the end of his name. My people will have my name. Yoshiahu reinstates the Passover. And this is from 2 Chronicles 34 and 35. Wow, did you know? And you're going to see lots of this. Did you know? Did you know King Josiah's testimony about when the day begins is just one of about 40 scripture testimonies? Did you know that there is not one idle word in scripture? Not one. Not that I have found. Does that not mean that every testimony, and especially the story of King Yoshiahu, must be carefully preserved for something very special for everyone to learn? Everyone. Everyone for sure. Again, wow. Did you know that? That King Josiah offered 41,400 Passover lamb sacrifices right up to the night season of Abib 14? How long did it take King Yoshiahu to sacrifice 41,400 sacrifices? How long? When did he start? Did he start after dawn? Did he start after sunrise? How about noon? Maybe he started at three in the afternoon. 41,400 sacrifices the number that you're going to see how many lambs have to be sacrificed every minute is going to astound you this brings out a great truth did you know that this event was about 800 years after moshe died again did you know that passover sacrifices were never offered on the 15 let that sink in for a bit. Passover sacrifices were never offered on Abib 15, according to the scripture. And did you know that sunset did not change the day of Abib 14 to Abib 15? And Abib 15 is the high Sabbath of unleavened bread. Passover was never overlapped onto the Sabbath of unleavened bread, as sunset theory would have you see it. This study will bring that out very clearly. Did you know, once again, did you know the testimony of King Josiah is going to break open a very interesting insight into the Hebrew phrase, Ben Ha Arbeim? Did you note that word is not Ereb, Ayim? It is ar bayim. I didn't really know the importance of that difference until we started reworking this study to update it. And what it has brought to the table is absolutely incredible. Did you know that ben ha ar bayim is Hebrew for between the evenings? Note that capital S, it's plural. Or better phrased as between the mixings. And that is according to the Hebrew definitions of the word, between the mixings. What times of the day, the 24-hour period, do you find mixings? What are the twilights? 
And now, much more, more facts. Did you know that Ben Ha Arbeim is actually the Hebrew phase, sorry, the Hebrew phrase that will declare with complete precision every new day from Yahuwah begins with the break of dawn twilight? Did you know that? Well, this study is going to underscore that exponentially. If you're curious to see how this works, please join us live next week and sign up with Covenant Calendar Club for the Friday and Shabbat Zoom meetings, including the live discussions. Shalom, and there is the link to get onto the website where all our studies are and where this one will be, where it will be recorded.